The Utah County prosecutor and sheriff took shots at each other last week over a child sexual abuse investigation. Now, prosecutor Dave Levitt uh, called it a political attack on him. Sheriff Mike Smith refused to name suspects or link the case to Levitt, but both pointed to a case that was filed in 2012. Well, tonight, KSL investigator Daniela Rivera obtained courtroom audio that sheds new light on why that case was dropped. First off, this is not a politically motivated investigation. Why is it occurring seven days before the ballots drop in my election? Trading barbs through news conferences, Utah County Attorney David Levitt and Sheriff Mike Smith discussed a 2012 case that's now getting a new look. Those charges were dismissed by my predecessor because the allegations were so untenable and unbelievable. In an effort to protect the privacy of the woman who came forward, the KSL investigators are not naming the man who was charged. But 18 felony child sexual abuse charges filed against him were dismissed without prejudice in 2014, meaning prosecutors could still refile them. The case is still there. Last week, it's Levin announced he was named along with several others in a victim statement that was part of law enforcement's case file. He called the allegations 100% false, but admitted he has not reviewed the case. It's in the archive someplace. Have you not looked at it? No, it's going to take several days. We he said he not. did speak to the prosecutor who was assigned to the case 10 years ago. He told me they dismissed it because the evidence was so outlandish. But Levitt's statements about the dismissal don't quite line up with courtroom audio obtained by the KSL investigators. Here's how the prosecutor and the defense attorney characterized the seriousness of the case in 2013. The allegations are some of the worst allegations of sexual abuse that I have come across uh, in the many years that I've been prosecuting these types of cases. If Mr. Uh, is convicted of these charges, he'll never see the light of day. I mean, these are, these will be, he'll be there for the rest of his life in prison. And in a 2014 hearing, the prosecutor suggested dismissing the charges with a plan to possibly refile the case in the future. There's a lot more that needs to be done with this case. And it's just not coming together. I'm getting resistance from DCFS. And then there's other medical records that we're having some trouble gathering. And it, it, a lot of it's due to just the age of this case. It's an extremely delayed disclosure. Witnesses have passed away. Records have been shredded. Uh, just because of the nature of the uh, length of the time that's come on. And so I think, uh, I don't believe this case will ever be ready to be tried. Why the case was never refiled and what will happen now are questions that remain unanswered. But Sheriff Smith says their investigation is now bigger than this one case. We have new victims coming forward. The man once charged in that case has recently filed to have the court records expunged. The attorney general's office has filed an objection to that request, saying the man is currently the subject of an ongoing criminal investigation by four law enforcement agencies into the same conduct alleged in those old charges. The Utah County Attorney's Office has also objected. Matt and Lori.